still are the V's. 29 seconds now left in the minor, handed out to Lalesia for boarding. Salmon arm through center, down the left, Killa. Centering pass, taken, shot, they score! Bryce Gervais, a power play goal. And the Silverbacks have the first goal of the night. On their third shot of the night, with 19 seconds left in the V's second penalty, they just can't quite get it done. Killing off the five, they did kill off the five on three, but couldn't kill off the five on four. One nothing, power play goal, Salmon Arm. Gervais the goal, kill up the first assist, we'll wait for any additional scoring. Notes and Salmon Arm leads, a great start for the V's, but those penalties killed them. That net of more, six minutes left in the frame, and a half, six and a half minutes left, and they've already got nine shots. They've been down five on three, taking two penalties as well. Here's a chance in front, McMillan, shot, scores! Oh, what a beauty! Well, this is how you do it. You take the puck from the front hand, front hand to the backhand to the forehand to the backhand again and in the net, up the top shelf, and a power play goal by the Bees. I think it was a power play goal. It was indeed Mark McMillan. What a dangle. He was led into the zone behind the defense. A nice pass from O'Donnell. And look at this move as he goes backhand up to the rooftop where Santa Claus in the... Where that chimney is, he put it right up top. A beautiful goal. McMillan's 10th in his last 11 games. And the Salmon Arm end, a long pass, finds Gervais behind the defense, breakaway, Gervais, stop, shot, off the post and in. It hit Stetcher after it hit the post. 2-1 Salmon Arm, a long breakaway for Gervais. Oh boy, I tell you what, the V's defense got caught there. All of a sudden, Gervais gets in behind both of them, and that long pass, a perfect picture pass, and it's a 2-1 hockey game, Salmon Arm scoring late at the 1807 mark. 2-1 visitors. This is the way they played it. They don't necessarily outchance you or bang you through the walls every night, but Salmon Arm just makes good on their chance. We set up to center for Bennett. they will chip it ahead into the offensive zone. Comes McCauley, driving wide, cutting out front. It's loose in front, and Moore will smother it. That patented drive down the left wing from McCauley. He nearly had a hat trick with the same move last night on Wednesday the night. side of the Salmon Arm end, looking for an equalizer. It's 2-1 Salmon Arm. Holka out front, loose puck, flying at the side of the net. Loik trying to jam it in. He's bumped by Friedel onto the net miner and a big scrum beside the net of Chris Moore here now. Right side, shot from Mountain, off Moore. It's in, they score! A big goal for Mountain, off of Moore and into the net. Never hurt, hurts to shoot the puck, does it? I mean, that was just a good shot by Mountain. Went to the high side, off the shoulder, over the shoulder or more, and the bees have tied it up. Kyle Rocky Mountain with a big goal that has this game tied at two. 12.08 will be the time of that goal. Mountain's eighth of the season. Might be as big as two. And that brings this crowd to life. It is all square at twos, and the V's have been peppering more this two. period. Gannon has it poked off his stick. It's loose behind the net. And there's the buzzer signaling the end of the second frame. Two periods, two goals each way, and all tied with 20 minutes to play. That's a pretty good period of hockey, no question about it. And a great penalty kill by the V's in the last two minutes of this period. They, uh, I, don't think they, I don't know if they allowed a shot or not. Yeah, maybe one. But uh, at any rate, the V's come up with the only goal of the period. Lots of shots in that period. Back to Icabella. So carry in and flip it past the defense and into the corner. Icabella centering shot from Betts. That one disappearing loose. Yeah. And they score. It's in the net. They're going to wave it off. A quick whistle. Oh, that's, a, that's a bad call. That puck was laying in front of the goaltender and about a foot out in front of his glove. There should have, that never should have been whistled down. Hartley was so far out of position, he might have been over in the next rink. You and can't, you, you, Derek Johnson's got his palms to the ceiling saying, can you get an explanation here? He blew it dead. Yeah, but the, the puck was a foot in front of the goaltender's glove. It can't be called a goal because the whistle sounded, yeah. but the whistle shouldn't have sounded, you're right. Absolutely, he was out of position. A stoppage with 10.43 remaining in the frame. Talked to a couple of fans between periods who were just hadn't uh, been out to these games for many years and 
and uh, saying, uh, boy, I'll tell you, this hockey's fast. Couldn't believe how fast the hockey is, and it is fast. This is a fast game. An announcement just made over the loudspeaker, Al. Peters Brothers Construction has bought all the remaining tickets. The Christmas Charity Challenge, a winner, and all that charity money given away. Here's Mountain in the slot. Shot, stopped by Moore. Rebound, covered up by Moore. Mountain again, right in the mix offensively. Boy, he's been good tonight. He certainly has. Offensively, defensively, killing penalties, just doing it all. Big hits. He's been physical. Yep. This time, Bennett will skate it out. Pass to his right. Tip wide a mountain, and he'll peel off for a change. We're heading to overtime here at the SOEC in the Christmas Charity Challenge. 2-2 two, two, the score. Wall. Gannon to the point. Atkinson. Left circle for Manson. Creeping in. Firing. He put it over the net. It's loose to the side of the cage. Great save, Rumpel. And he'll hang on. The goal judge has turned his light on there. But the ref didn't see it, and he's indicating a face-off at the side of the net. That might have trickled in. Yeah, now that Atkinson's over asking the referee to talk to the goal judge. The goal judge did turn the light on. 1.13 left in the V's penalty. 3.20 remaining in the first overtime. McMillan, another big draw in his own zone. A minute 13 left. And this overtime power play for Salmon Arm, a big draw oh, for McMillan. the V's penalty. High drama here in Penticton. Ten seconds left in the man advantage. Centering pass. Chance for Knowles. Kill-up shot. Blocked by McMillan. Another chance. Stopped by Rumpel. A huge save. And he covers it up. A monstrous save. McMillan a big block. And the V's are still in this. Listen to this crowd. Oh. Wins it to the right wall for Derek Johnson. He'll slide it behind the net for Luka. Loik and Mountain the forwards, and time about to come off the clock. It does. There's the buzzer. Double overtime on the way as again the second annual Christmas Charity Challenge sees the second consecutive double overtime charity challenge. Last year, 3-2 against Vernon in double overtime. Right now, it is... 2-2 heading to double overtime. It likely will be 3-2 unless this thing's a tie. He's nearly stripped but hangs on and chips it in behind the cage. Milan battling against Cassidy there. Cassidy comes up with it and hustles out to center ice. Three on two salmon arm. 20 seconds left in overtime. Cassidy, toe drag, shot. Never got off. He was tied up by Johnson. Cassidy from his knees. Plays it into the corner. Great individual effort. He fans on a pass. Still has it. Vassaturo, point shot, save made by Rumpel. He'll hang on, and Mistel right in on the net. What action in double overtime. Seven seconds left. Salmon Arm needs to win a face-off, or this is going to be a tie. Well, you almost got to give goaltenders, uh, the goaltenders uh, the stars tonight. Mountain will take the draw against the forward. Killup. Played to the line, holding it onside is Manson. Now to the wall, Knowles. Back to Manson. One second left. Shot tipped up and out of play as the buzzer sounds. A 2-2 tie. And nothing settled here on Christmas Charity Challenge night. The final score, 2-2 in a rare tie. Been a long time since I've seen a crowd in a, in a tie game stand up and give a standing ovation at the end of the game. Both teams deserve that. What a performance by both sides for the V's, killing off five of six penalties for the Silverbacks. A point on the road in hostile territory. And the V's will come out to center ice and salute the fans here. The largest crowd of the season getting a salute from the hometown team. 2-2, the final. We will take a three-minute break and return with our post-game show live from the Valley First Vault. 2-2 your final, this is V's Hockey on Easy Rock.